Here's a story from Grandpa for my three favorite little girls, Emma, Ayla, and Audrey. Have I mentioned that I think insects are fascinating? There are a lot of very weird insects in the world, and one of the weirdest is the dung beetle. Now first, you have to understand that dung is another word for poop. When an animal, especially a large animal, poops, we refer to that poop as dung. The dung beetle is an insect that basically eats poop, or dung, and the very interesting thing that the dung beetle does is that when he finds in us a nice fresh pile of dung, he makes some of it into a ball and rolls it home so he can eat it. Here's the story. Steve the Dung Beetle on a Roll. Words by Susan R. Stoltz. Pictures by Melissa Bailey. Hey, this is my poo. Go find your own. It's time to roll this poo home. The African elephant says, Hey, Steve, why are you rolling that ball of poo? Because it's my job to help clean up the environment. That's what dung beetles do. Without us, there would be poo all over the place. Oh, I didn't know that. The giraffe says, Hey, Steve, why are you rolling that ball of poo? I'm going to recycle this poo and use it for something else. But first, I have to get it home. Reduce, reuse, recycle. The zebra says, hey, Steve, why are you rolling that ball of poo? Because when I roll it underground, it makes a bed for the baby dung beetles. Yuck. Hey, Steve, why are you rolling that ball of poo? Gotta get it home quickly. I'm in a hurry. Can't stop to explain. The warthog says, hey, Steve, why are you rolling that ball of poo? When I roll it underground, it helps to control the amount of flies and other insects that bite and annoy you. That makes me happy. The lion says, hey, Steve, why do you roll that ball of poo upside down and backwards? Because my back legs are much stronger than my front legs. Oh. Crocodile says, hey, Steve, why are you rolling that ball of poo? When I clean up the poo, it doesn't run into the water when it rains. That helps keep the river clean. Wow, thanks. Hey, Steve, how do you find your way home when things are in your way? I can navigate by where the sun is in the sky, so I'm never lost. That's amazing. The Dick Dick says, Hey, Steve, why are you standing on that ball of poo? Hot, 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 hot. The ground is very warm. When I work so hard rolling this poo home, my feet get burning hot. When I stand on it, it cools them down. Good idea. The hyena says, hey, Steve, your poo is out of control. I know, I'm trying to get it underground. Whoops, to fertilize the dirt. Yikes, and help plants and trees. Whoa, grow. <laughs> The pangolin says, hey, Steve, why are you rolling that ball of poo? It's my job to help plants, trees, and flowers. There are seeds in this poo. When I roll it underground, those seeds begin to grow. That's a big job. The crested porcupine says, hey, Steve, why are you standing on that ball of poo and looking at the stars? The position of the moon and the stars help me find my way home. That's fascinating. The other dung beetles say, hey, Steve, this poo is delicious. It sure is juicy. It's the best dung ball I've ever rolled home. What would we do without you, Steve? Dung beetles are amazing. There are between 7,000 and 10,000 dung beetle species around the world. They're found on every continent except for Antarctica. Why do dung beetles spend so much time rolling around animal dung? Well. Poo is nutritious, often containing undigested pieces of food. Along with nutrients, dung beetles also get water from the feces of the other animals, mainly herbivores like elephants, rhinoceros, cows, kangaroos, and zebras. Many dung beetles will only feed on the dung of a specific animal species. And although this all sounds disgusting, dung beetles play an important part in the nutrient cycling within their environment. When we think of dung beetles, we often think of a very small insect rolling a very large ball of dung, as it shows in this book. But not all dung beetles roll a dung ball. Some species will tunnel below a dung pile. Some actually live in poo. 
Dung beetles are small but very strong and able to move balls of dung that weigh much more than they do. Some dung balls weigh a thousand times more than the beetles themselves. Those species that do roll their dung ball often do so to supply their larvae with food. Eggs are laid directly in the feces and when the larvae hatch, they consume the dung. Now here's a little bit about some of Steve's friends that we saw in the book. The pangolin are the most critically endangered species you've never heard of. They are the only mammals covered in scales. Similar to birds, they eat small pebbles to aid in food digestion. You can see Steve pushing a pebble towards the pangolin in the illustration. They are some of the world's most unique and most heavily trafficked wild mammal. The pangolin is roughly the size of a small dog and is covered completely in scales made of keratin the same material that makes up our hair and nails. There are eight different species of pangolin, native to both Africa and Asia, and in particular, China. The spotted hyena looks similar to dogs, but they are actually more closely related to cats. Their jaws are strong enough to crush a bowling ball. Females are much larger than males and are much more aggressive. The dick dick is a small African antelope that weighs between six and 13 pounds. Dick-dicks have long, flexible snouts that cool the hot African air before it reaches their lungs. The African crested porcupine is the largest porcupine in the world. The porcupine will rattle its quills and stamp its feet to scare away predators before it uses its nearly 30,000 quills. Porcupines cannot shoot or throw their quills. They have to physically poke them into whatever is irritating or threatening them. Each quill has a topical antibiotic so a porcupine attack will not necessarily lead to an infection. This is a defense mechanism to prevent accidental self-quilling. I'm glad they can do that. And then for the final, they have some dung beetle jokes. So there's some on the back cover that I'll read first. What does a dung beetle wear to bed? Pajamas. What does a dung beetle put on her food? Salt and pooper. What sound does a dung beetle's doorbell make? Ding dong! What is a dung beetle's favorite dog? A poodle. What is a dung beetle's favorite superhero? Pooperman. Now, from the page, what is a dung beetle's favorite snack? A poopsicle. What is a dung beetle's favorite number? Number two. What does a dung beetle put on a hot dog? A mustard. Why did the dung beetle put on a swimming suit? So he could go in the swimming poo. What does a dung beetle eat for breakfast? A poop tart. What does a dung beetle use for his email? A computer. And that's the end of the story. So Steve is a very interesting insect that actually does a lot of good in the world. I wouldn't want to roll dung around and take it home to eat, but I'm really glad that Steve does. And I loved all the poo jokes at the end of the book. Always remember that Grandpa loves you even if you were a dung beetle, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.